Berlin, die ewig junge Stadt, das ist Berlin. Berlin, die meine Liebe hat, genau im Mittelpunkt der Welt, hat sie der Herrgott hingestellt. Welcome to day three of the Berlin Film Festival and I have to remind you to subscribe so that you're fully invested in the magic of my evaluative process. Olivier Assayas' new film in the Berlin competition Hors du Temps or Suspended Time is a flimsy but elegant auto-fictional sketch about his own experiences during the Covid lockdown, bubbling up with family members in his childhood home in La France Profonde. It's a movie which reminds us that for all the anxieties, this period of enforced inactivity was, for grown-ups of a certain age and financial security, not entirely unpleasant. A reminder of the endless, aimless summer days of childhood, an idyllic existence outside time which workaholic media professionals thought never to see again. A kind of miracle. Vincent Macan is the dishevelled filmmaker Etienne, very different, surely, from the stylish SAS, who's come back to the handsome family home of his late parents, staying there with his girlfriend, played by Nina Dusso, and communicating with his ex-wife and adored tween daughter on Zoom. He's going to be living there with his brother Paul, played by Misha Lesko, a music journalist, and his new partner, played by Nora Hamzawi. Asayas uses what appears to be his actual home and, in the opening autobiographical voiceover, introduces us to the house and grounds, easily the best part of the film, actually, and in further personal sections, dispenses with the fiction entirely and talks about the Asayas family. C'est quoi? C'est mes chaussettes. Que tu as commandé sur Amazon? Oui. Tu connais les conditions de travail navrantes dans les entrepôts d'Amazon Je t'apprends rien. Et là, tu as besoin de chaussettes Exactement, oui. On sera bientôt en mai, t'es confiné depuis deux mois. L'été arrive et t'as besoin de chaussettes Tout à fait, D'accord, d'accord. Tu peux pas les acheter dans un magasin Non, parce que les magasins sont fermés. Non, mais quand ils seront ouverts. Quand ils seront ouverts, ça sera trop risqué d'y aller. Et puis de toute façon, il n'y a pas les chaussettes que je veux dans les magasins. Ah, mais c'est des falques. Mais on trouve partout, ça. Non, désolé, pas ce modèle. Excusez-moi, pardon, je suis en train de faire mon cours de danse sur Zoom. Euh, J'ai vu que tu avais récupéré le carton qui est arrivé ce matin. Oui, exact, oui. Bah, ça ne serait pas mes cracottes sans gluten par hasard Ah bah non, ce, ce sont mes chaussettes. Ils sont chiants, ça fait une semaine que je les ai commandées. Bon, je vous dérange pas plus, mon cours n'est pas terminé. Paul is in a position to record radio programs at home and get started on a show about music stars who've died of COVID, starting with Dave Greenfield of The Stranglers. For a second, I was hoping SAS would break out some choice Stranglers tracks on the soundtrack with Paul playing air guitar, but sadly, no. Etienne has little to do for himself but mooch about the place, musing on ideas for films. Etienne's obsessive anti-Covid cleanliness soon irritates Paul, who annoys Etienne with his cooking. But of course there are al fresco meals and laughter too. Nothing illustrates the difference between French cinema and British cinema more than this film. Which Brit director would be allowed to indulge himself or herself with this kind of civilised, cultured musing? And to assume that, of course, there is a supportive home turf movie audience for it. This is a film in which someone sits down and listens to a podcast with Jean Renoir talking about his father, Pierre-Auguste Renoir. And the result is really interesting. Well, I'm glad that Olivia Assayas is allowed to do it. That's it once again. And again, I remind you to subscribe and leave a comment giving me recommendations about where to eat in Berlin. See you tomorrow.